I have a couple more methods that I need to talk about from section 6.3, Solving Equations. And one of those is recognizing, again, equations that are quadratic in form. And we've seen these before. So an example, 1 is 2 cosine squared theta plus cosine theta minus 1 is equal to 0. And I just recognize that I have a quantity here and then the square of that quantity there. So if I make a substitution and u is cosine theta and u squared is cosine squared theta, then I could simplify this or simplify at least the way that it looked. And then this equation I know how to solve. Factorable 2u minus 1 and u plus 1 is 0. So I get 2u minus 1 is equal to 0 and u plus 1 is 0. And this is u is equal to 1 half, and u is equal to minus 1. And now I go through that same process of resubstituting this back in. So cosine theta is equal to 1 half, and I kind of have these parallel um, equations, right? Um, and then here cosine theta is equal to negative 1. So again, thinking about the unit circle and where cosine theta is 1 half. So I really have to go just over a little bit and then I have this tall triangle. It's that one right there, right? Um, so that's my 60 degree angle or pi over 3. again plus 2 pi k. Um, this also is positive 1 half down here for this triangle, right? Um, and so that's all the way around. I believe that should be 5 pi over 3. plus 2 pi k. Okay. So those are the two general solutions to come out of this 1 half. Cosine is negative 1. That happens right over here at this point. So I get theta is equal to pi plus 2 pi k. So those are my three solutions right here. to the problem using quadratic in form, okay? Um, the other thing you can do is, I mean, and you should use these tools when they're useful to you, is that you should feel free to use any of the identities that we have developed so far to simplify. And sometimes especially this just means um, changing maybe one trig into another expression. So here's an example. Sine squared theta minus cosine squared theta is equal to 1 plus cosine theta. Okay? And I have this maybe a u squared and a u, but then I have this extra piece over here that I kind of want to get rid of. And this isn't sine squared plus cosine squared, so it doesn't simplify. Um, but I do have that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is 1. So if I wanted to just change everything into cosines, I could do that. Right? Sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So I'm going to make that substitution here. 1 minus cosine squared theta. Then I have another cos minus cosine squared theta on the left. It's equal to 1 plus cosine theta. So I get 1 minus 2 cosine squared theta is equal to 1 plus cosine theta. 
and these ones will cancel each other out. So let me bring everything to the left and I'll get negative 2 cosine squared theta minus cosine theta is equal to 0. Um, and then this is quadratic in form again. I have a cosine and a cosine squared, so u is cosine theta and u squared is equal to cosine squared theta. So I'll put that in negative 2u squared minus u is equal to 0. And let me factor out a u, uh, let me factor out a negative u. Negative u and then 2u plus 1 is equal to 0, so I get u is 0 or 2u plus 1 is 0. So u is negative 1 half or 0. And again, resubstitute. So I have this cosine theta is equal to 0, and then cosine theta is equal to negative 1 half. Right? Cosine theta is 0 um, at theta is equal to pi over 2 or at 3 pi over 2. And actually I can write this in general terms as pi over 2 plus k pi. It repeats every pi. Right, I come back to that 0. Um, and here, theta, where is um, cosine equal to negative 1 half? That should be at 2 pi over 3 and also again at 4 pi over 3 and again I get this plus 2 pi k plus 2 pi k. So I think I can encompass the general solutions right here in those three solutions. Okay? Okay, let me know if you have questions.